Hey friends, it's Sarah here. Today I am working in my Studio Calico Traveler's Notebook using the Letters Home Collection. Um, this photo that I have here is one that I printed for Project Life. It was actually a duplicate, so it was in a 4x6 size, and I don't typically use that size in my notebook, but I already had it and it kind of worked perfectly in that space um, in between the leaves there, so I decided to kind of make it work even though I'm going to have to trim it um, sort of down the side and have it span the two pages um, but I'm gonna try to make that work and I wanted to have my journaling in the other sort of negative space up in the top left so I'm creating a little envelope for the journaling um, because I wanted to use some of the postage stamps that came in the kit for this month. There's a whole sticker sheet of postage stamps that each have um, a different illustration and they're so cute. I'm sure there are a million different ways that you can use them but I decided to use it in sort of the typical um, postage sort of um, way so that's why I'm kind of creating this little letter and I'm just going to back my journaling with a piece of white cardstock that I have used um, the copper washi tape to um, kind of add a border there so I thought that looked um, pretty cute to kind of add into that glassine bag um, that glassine bag was a packaging for probably like a sticker sheet or something from a previous kit and I just cut it down cut it down to fit my journaling and um, I also cut a little notch out of the top using my circle punch so that I can pull out my journaling a little bit easier and so I wanted to try to make this look like an envelope by addressing it um, and so I brought in the Lucy Alphas, uh, which also released in October from Studio Calico. And I was going to spell out me, but that seemed a little awkward. So I ended up using my initials, which I still don't think it looks very envelope-ish. Um, I probably should have used a smaller font, but anyways, I decided to go with it. And so I have my initials on there and I'm going to go ahead and um, use a little postage stamp for the top right corner there. So I went ahead and I trimmed my photo so that it could span the two pages and I'm just leaving that alone. I'm not going to add any sort of pattern paper or anything behind it. Um, I probably could have done that. It might have grounded it a little bit more, but you'll see kind of how I do that in a little bit using some of the stickers in um, the collection. So I went ahead and adhered my glassine bag onto my page and I'm just going through. You can see there are so many stickers, those little postage stickers that came in the set and I'm really excited by those. Um, something about sort of snail mail and postage just I don't know I am a paper lover and I get really excited about things like that so I was super happy when I saw those in the kit so this is how I'm kind of grounding my photo and journaling I'm adding some stickers tucking them behind my photo just to add little pops of color here and there I'm going to add also some little um, circle stickers and have them sort of hanging off the page and that will um, kind of make it feel like not everything is floating on the page so I stamped uh, those glasses and the pencil from the uh, from the set that came in this kit and it just added a little something to that journaling so this washi tape was catching on my glassine bag so I had to kind of cut off what I had um, adhered onto the back I was trying to take a sort of shortcut by just um, sort of taping you know tucking the tape onto the back of the card but that didn't work so anyways a little extra step there but that's okay and now I'm just adding some more stickers you're gonna see that um, I kind of thought I was done and I walked away from this project and then I came back to add a couple more things to still kind of try to ground the elements that I already had on the page 
Just going to add some stitching marks using my pen around the stickers that I added. Um, I wanted to also add it around my glassine bag. I tested it out here to see if um, I could actually uh, put markings on that bag, but they rubbed off. So I went ahead and just um, added my little dotted lines um, just around the edge there onto the actual page. And so there you can see, I thought I was done, but I came back and I just added a couple more stickers, one of them um, to kind of bring the journaling and the photo together. And that will complete my page. So I hope that you enjoyed this process. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new to my channel. And I will see you guys again very soon. Bye!